Um, Kanks is doing well, huh? Look at that. Kanks is uh, really doing well. Well done. You've got some... Uh, Yeah, it broke that it broke that support line. I mean effectively with Kanks. I want to see more volume. I don't like the the volume profile to be honest with you. I want to see more volume. I think the reason why there's no volume is cuz no one's taking profit. <laughs> and I think that's probably the reason. Maybe people are long-term hodlers. There was a little bit of volume here. There's a little bit of increase in volume, but the average volume profile is quite flat. You see that it's quite a flat it's quite a flat profile okay maybe i mean this is really good because while bitcoin is pulling back look at kanks kanks is kanks is fine okay but main the main reason why is because people aren't taking profit right now that's really the reason why you're not seeing the volume and that's the reason why you're not seeing the pullback the big pullbacks because you're not getting that crazy profit take that's going to pull the price down. I don't really, I don't really know what there is to be said about Kanks. Look at it. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> you want me to say where is a good place to take profit or where is a good place for the price to pull back? Who knows? <laughs> Look, it's just going like crazy. You've cleared this scan. Mm, look at that, you've held it nicely. Look at that. You've gone through this golden pocket. What's that golden pocket? It's just gone through it. And tested it once. Come down. Just gone through it. Back tested this 8 1. Are we going to the highs? <laughs> I think it's possible. You're back above this launch price. You held the launch price. You held the launch price. You held this 8-1 GAN. You held the 618. You're in you've gone through the golden pocket now. No back test. It's pretty strong now. Huh? There's no signs of weakness. Well, not right now. Can't see it. Can't see any signs of weakness. This volume range is probably insignificant and even now. That weekly level is now finished, I think. This weekly level. You, I think the, the golden pockets are always relevant because if you do get a pullback, if, you, if we do get a pullback now, you kind of want this pivot here kind of the back test of the golden pocket to hold us as support now i think that's what you want yeah you kind of want this area to hold the support if we get a pullback um just bear in mind something though we've gone up really fast and we're not i mean we we're not really creating much support on the way up and the volume hasn't been crazy it's not crazy volume I'm not, if you look at this whole volume profile so, yeah you see it's quite flat it's going up here but it's relatively speaking it's quite flat yeah. i'm not crazy about it okay so what does that mean nothing it just means that if someone decides to take profit and they start market selling it could pull back quite fast okay is possible and then the support levels that you're building up on the way up well you had this daily level here which was cleared you have one here that hasn't been cleared yet you have one lower down you have like three daily levels four one there one there one there that's cleared don't think you want it you don't want to see the price no one really wants to see the price come back underneath the golden pocket that wouldn't look good 
back underneath this this pivot here look you've held it as resistance for a few days and now you've broken through that resistance level i think if anyone's looking to pick up this token on a pullback then this would be a good place wait for it to find support and that would be a good place to pick it up uh, and then you don't really want to lose that area of interest, which is this previous pivot, which is a back test of this golden pocket uh, and for continuation. Higher lows, higher highs, the trend continues. Yeah, you've got some kind of bullish trend here and also potentially that. I did that uh, inverse head and shoulders idea by taking a fractal and pulling it down. So maybe we're seeing a little bit of a breakout from the idea that I had, which was an inverse head and shoulders. If that is true, no one really knows. It was like that, wasn't it? Just ignoring this middle bit. If that is true, if you do have some kind of and then shoulders which broke out broke out here it's the breakout i mean it could go quite far because you're talking about nearly a two rate two year range it could probably two do a one to two on this on this uh on this um this uh this height but one to two one to one would be your initial target there's the head here to here It'll be there to there so you could just do a one to one possibly there from the breakout and just keep that in no. Let's get rid of this. I'll do something else as well. So you can also um where's the launch price? There it is. Let's get it out there. Okay. Rename that. I think um you could argue that the launch price is the dividing line between a top range and a bottom range yeah and you could almost argue that now we've crossed the launch price have we back tested it yeah just a nice back test look at that red candle into the launch price held and a, and a green candle followed by the swing failure of the previous day low yeah you can say that's a very acceptable back test of the launch price on the daily time frame there's definitely a it's definitely holding so you could argue um that we're in a higher range now so i'm always contemplating the range i'm not like i'm not thinking anything else and potentially all the way down to the launch price the launch price is a bit lower so it's here it's at the 618 effectively you could argue that this is your new range, this whole top bit, and we've cleared this this range here, this low range. So we're no longer in the low range. Under no circumstances do I want, would I want the price to come back underneath the launch price now that we've cleared it. So I, I think that's your line in the sand. That being said, for continuation, I don't really want to lose this pivot, come back into the golden pocket either. Okay. So potentially you're much higher. Your line in the sand is slightly higher at about uh, 
but I think now that we've crossed the launch price, back tested it. That's the six one eight. You don't really want to go down now. That doesn't. That wouldn't look good. <laughs> it wouldn't look good at all. So effectively, that's your range. You're in the higher range. It's above the launch price. That's the dividing line. And if we are breaking out of an inverse head and shoulders, let me do a full fib log okay so you see how the price has come and it's reacting now almost into this 786 so again this is the thing the fibs on the higher time frame and the 50 percent mark are being respected yeah and this is on the log time frame so all you really have to do is just do it for yourself get the log time frame take it from the high to this pivot here and then you'll you could trade that you want to um there's not much volume in this drop here it's not crazy volume so i don't necessarily think um, don't necessarily think it's gonna offer that much resistance to be honest with you i'm not crazy about the volume look there's no volume here really which is why the price is just sliced through that zone there's no volume resistance but there's a little bit up there a little bit of volume resistance in the next kind of bracket i think you get so far up you're probably heading for the all-time high probably if we get higher we'll, we'll probably go for higher okay um It's quite impossible. Let me just see this again. Yeah, I think I think just that around 11 or 12 cents you'll get a little bit of, just in that zone you get a little bit of resistance right up there let me see if that corresponds with anything now um, that's a that's a very viable long trade if anyone's interested but it has to hold the support a little back test you want an invalidation as well so you want to see the price hold the back tests there's no reason why that that can't happen in the future okay don't just think just because we're pumping we're always we're going to go to infinity at any point in time it's very possible that the price comes back pulls back and that's where you're looking to enter I think we're prob possibly in a wave three right now, actually, just looking at the price action. Possibly. I'm thinking it's possible. And that was a higher low for a wave two. Because you had a you had a pivot right there, potentially. One, two, three, 
four, five. This whole thing was corrective, this whole thing for a two. And now we're just impulsing out of that for another five waves. Where does it start? Don't really know. Probably here. And one, two. Where is this going to end? Don't know where. And five. Probably there. Possibly there. <laughs> I can tell you that this three is already bigger than this one. The five can be bigger, but I think there's a little bit of resistance here at about 12 cents. If this is correct. Yeah. And I don't know if the, th I mean, the three could always go up there right now. It's always possible. It depends on Bitcoin. Okay, that would that would be fine. You see, Bitcoin is pulling back. The book, the impulse is continuing. We are we are coming into resistance right now. Yeah, it's very clear to see. There's some fib resistance right now, and it's also the bottom of this this range here. Until you can get into it, flip this seven eight six into support. You're into resistance. Okay, uh, and it could pull back. I don't see it coming back underneath this launch price, but ideally what you'd want is you want the back test of this golden pocket, which is an SR flip on this P previous pivot to hold. Okay. It's kind of what you want. Um, there's a lot of lines and it's almost confusing me. So I don't expect people to necessarily follow. What I'm doing, Let's just put that in its own group. Into its own group as well. I'm going to set an alert. Oh, there you go. Look at my, my alert just came up. See this? I was doing this bit Bitcoin trade earlier with you guys. I took it live. What's this thing? What's going on? Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> it's come back up. Right, you see that? So it's crossed back up. I'm probably going to get stopped out. <laughs> Will I exit right now? No, I'm not going to exit. I'm just going to risk it and see what happens. Do we go up and take that high? But we're back above this uh, point of control. So let's just see. And go back to Kanks.
Okay, what else do I want to do? Let's do some other things. Yeah, we're coming into a bit of uh, resistance right now. David's asking me, are you shorting BTC? Alright, um... I kind of like my uh, idea, actually. I do like it. This one. I like, I think there's a little bit of resistance right up there at about 12 cents. And I wouldn't mind seeing a pullback now. Yeah, it depends. Because this, if we are in a three, this is going to be quite impulsive. Okay. And if that's the one, this is the two, maybe we're in the three now. there down to there we got two to one it's going to take us to around 12 cents back into this range here to the top of that range all right one to two Okay, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And let's see if we get there. Let's try uh, something else. Right, I think that's Kanks. Don't know if there's anything else to say. There is one more thing I wanted to say, actually. Uh, if you look at the yearly time frame, there is a yearly level at about 12 cents. You see that? So I do think that's going to offer us resistance. I don't, I don't see us just walking through that level. Who knows? Um, that being said, you are looking at a, a higher time frame reversal pattern forming on the yearly level. So it is quite a bullish reversal, but you have a yearly level that's untapped right there, where I've got this 886, about 12 cents. I think you've got quite a lot of resistance there. And so I don't know if people are trading this or they're just hodling for higher. Uh, but don't just I don't think it's wise to just expect the price to go to the moon especially since you're coming into higher time frame resistance levels and fib levels as well okay the a6 it corresponds with the extension fib it corresponds with the yearly level it corresponds with the top of this volume range it corresponds with an elliott wave count that i've just done you know something to bear in mind uh, could it extend of course you know the price can always go up to, could always go up to infinity no you know i'm not saying it's not uh, I'm just saying that you're going to come across technical levels that need to be breached. And for that to happen, you're going to need an increase in volume. You're going to need that. Otherwise, you're just going to come back down because people will take profits. They will take profit and they'll probably do it at market. And also, but people, the buying will slow down as well. It will start to exhaust at that higher level prices because buyers usually like to wait for the dips. Okay. We're only about 
50 or so percent away from my target and i don't know if it's going to pull back first before it goes up pulls back another 30 percent to, to back test this i'd like a back test it would be a lot more the structure would be more complete if you get back tests you know you, you want a back test and then the other thing that i can see that's happening here i think i showed this before is some kind of trend line see see that you coming into that trend line you kind of want to back test off that pivot back test the golden pocket for continuation i don't know if it's going to come but if it does come you could long at about 5.4 cents and aim for about 12. that's my planks update sorry let me just go back to i'm going to keep on going back to bitcoin because just want to see how look at that oh my god 